Chicago Brighteners happen to be one of my favorite topics. And the reason is that a lot of people will, they will purchase paper that has the word bright in it. For instance, Epson Hot Press, Bright White. Epson Cold Press, Bright White. Hanamili Photo Rag, Bright White. Now, what does the word bright mean? So, in these papers, they contain a chemical that's called an optical brightening agent. And what that optical brightening agent does is when the, the paper is exposed to UV light, that it will reflect back a bluer light. Um, a light that our eyes can see because we don't see in ultraviolet, but it reflects a bluer light. So under conditions where there is UV radiation available, like the sun, uh, those papers will appear whiter than papers without optical brighteners. Papers without optical brighteners, um, they look a little cream color. So why is this important? So to me, um, personally, I would rather use papers without optical brighteners than with. And the reason is this. We know one thing about optical brighteners, that all the molecules in optical brighteners, um, they have like little gas tanks in them. And if you are in fact viewing them under UV conditions, they will only absorb a certain amount of UV light until they burn out. Look at every white t-shirt you've ever owned. Let's stay white forever because it's out in bright sunlight uh, and the sunlight is attacking those optical brighteners and causing them to fade. So at some point in the future, uh, the paper will no longer be white. It might, it'll revert back to its original base tone. Uh, so there's an issue for some of us, not everybody, um, but some of us where we have issues with what we call archival permanence, right? What does the word archival mean? Well, that's kind of a moving target. Um, and we'll talk about that in another video. But realistically, a paper with optical brighteners, we know at some point will turn yellow. Look at every print from the 70s, 80s, 90s, or maybe even the 2000s. Uh, the paper base reverts to yellow because the optical brighteners have burned out. Uh, another reason why uh, I get concerned about optical brighteners is that if you then frame your work with a glass like museum glass from TrueView or a uh, Plex, a UV coated Plex like Optium from TrueView, uh, those uh, uh, glazings, we call them, uh, are coated with, uh, have a coating that blocks 99% of UV light. So if you are viewing your print under, you know, light that has UV in it and you put your museum glass on, it is blocking the UV light that's necessary for the optical brighteners to reflect black back to blue, um, the bluish tone. And in effect, it negates that whole um, equation. So uh, you take, you have your paper uh, with your print with optical brighteners in it. You take mu uh, true view museum glass you put on and a print looks yellow. It looks just like a paper without optical brighteners. So um, I have an LED UV flashlight that I use that detects, um, that actually will show you if a paper has optical brighteners or not. It, it will glow uh, versus a paper that does not have optical brighteners in it. Uh, now, uh, people ask me, is that a good or a bad thing? Well, it depends. Um, if you're not concerned and you created a series of work on a paper with optical brighteners, which uh, you might have, the reality is that in the past, we didn't really know how to make papers bright white without the use of optical brighteners. Um, so you might want to continue it. Now, is the paper going to yellow in 10 years, 20 years, 50 years? Kind of depends on uh, how much UV light it's being exposed to. We do have some papers now that include uh, what we call pure white technology. Uh, Canton Infinity has come out with three papers that are being manufactured at the Arche Mill in France. Uh, the first paper is Arche 88, Arche, and I'm saying it, um, I don't have a French accent, but it's Arches to some, which is a, uh, a silkscreen paper. This is a fine art paper. It's very smooth on the top, uh, feels a little furry on the back. Uh, because it is a mold made paper. It's made on a far 400, you know, or a machine that's hundreds of years old. 
Um, they also have BFK Reeves Pure White, which has a little bit of a texture, also a matte paper with a little texture, and Arshak Arel, very heavily textured watercolor paper. All three of these papers are very white, certainly whiter than traditional papers that do not have optical brighteners, almost as white as papers that do contain optical brighteners, but under lighting conditions such as LED, which is what I have here in my studio, the papers um, from Arsh look whiter than the papers that you would most be familiar with that contain optical brighteners.